So now that we have explored some of the important features of the graphs of polynomial functions, we are officially ready to start sketching the graphs of these types of functions. So to help us out along the way, the following is some strategy associated with sketching such graphs. So step one, So the first step in sketching the graph of polynomial functions is to determine the end behavior of the graph. So in order to determine such end behavior, we recall that we'll need to apply the leading term test to identify the degree of the polynomial as well as the leading coefficient, which will tell us how the graph's ends behave. Step two. So in step two, we want to find the zeros of the polynomial function. And recall that to find the zeros, we simply set f of x equal to zero and then solve for x. Step three. So in step three, we want to determine how the graph is going to behave at each of the zeros. So recall to that in order to determine how the graph behaves at a zero, we first identify the multiplicity of each factor and then use this multiplicity to help us identify how the graph is going to behave at the x-axis for the corresponding zeros. Step four. So in step four, we find the y-intercept of the graph. So we're called to find the y-intercept of any graph of, or for any function, we go ahead and we let x equal zero and then solve for y. And keep in mind, we can write this in its ordered pair form, zero, y. Step five. So in step five, we go ahead and create a table of x and y values to calculate additional solution points or ordered pairs, x, y, on the graph of the polynomial function. Now, when calculating such additional points, remember your zeros. Right? Choose x values around the zeros to help make the most of your additional points. And last but not least, we want to sketch the graph of the function. So begin by identifying the end behaviors on the coordinate plane, plot your zeros, and make note of the multiplicity and how the graph will behave at the x-intercept, plot the y-intercept and additional solution points, connecting all these points with a smooth curve. Now, as always, if after taking all of these steps, you're still not quite sure what the graph of the polynomial function will look like, you can always go back to your table of x and y values and find additional solution points on the graph.